It's not just a duh, it's a dopamine machine. FL Studio is the reason so many producers are addicted to making beats, and it might be why some of them never get past the loop. But this simple piece of software also changed the course of music history. This is the story of how it happened and why it works on your brain like no other. This is episode one of Behind the Beat, a new series where we explore the psychology, culture, and deeper stories behind music production. Today we're diving into FL Studio, the most used, most misunderstood, and most addictive DAW on the planet. We'll break down why it feels so good, what it does to your creativity, and how it helps shape the sound of modern music. FL Studio started in 1997 as Fruity Loops and people just laughed at it. It was literally designed to make loops, not songs. But one day, a kid named Soldier Boy downloaded it on Windows desktop and made history with Crank That. Suddenly, FL Studio wasn't a joke. It was a secret weapon. Then came the trap era, Metro Boomin, Southside, Lex Luger, all using FL. Why? Because it was fast, visual immediate you could go from an idea to a banger in 10 minutes flat here's the thing fl studio feels different than any other dot and it's not by accident every part of the experience is built around instant gratification you don't need to set up tracks rooting or templates you open it and start clicking the step sequencer makes drum programming feel like playing tetris the piano roll gives you fast visual feedback and the pattern based system keeps everything loopable editable and and insanely fast. This triggers a feedback loop in your brain. You get a sound, you like it, you tweak it, you layer it, then boom, a melody, a bounce, a beat, a dopamine hit over and over. It's like a slot machine for music producers. But that same speed can turn into a trap. You might spend hours looping an eight bar idea and never actually arrange the song or beat. The same features that make FL Studio fun can also make it dangerous if you're not careful. Loop addiction, lack of arrangement, lazy mixing and bad routing, getting stuck tweaking visuals instead of listening. Here's what helped me break out of the loop trap. Build templates that force you into arrangement. Start with the chorus, not the intro. Mix as you go. Use the arrange first rule before moving on to the next sound. FL Studio is addictive for a reason. It's visual, it's fast, it tricks your brain into thinking you're progressing even when you're just looping. But once you become intentional with it, that's when the real magic happens. That's when your beat stops sounding like just ideas and starts sounding like records. In the next episode, we're gonna go into FL Studio's most powerful feature, the piano roll. It's way deeper than it looks and it literally rewired the way an entire generation made their melodies. If this gave you a new perspective on FL Studio, sub if you're tired of surface level tutorials. We're going deeper every week.